Inside the federal penitentiary in Terre Haute, you'll find 42 men currently serving on America's death row. For nearly two decades, no federal executions were carried out, but that changed in the final year of the Trump administration when 13 people were killed in a six month period. Rush to Kill is a podcast two years in the making. WFIU's George Hale and NPR researchers interviewed dozens of people and poured over endless documents to bring you the story behind the resumption of executions, mistakes made along the way, and the future of the federal death penalty. Take a listen. Under the direction of President Donald Trump's attorney general, the U.S. government started setting execution dates for people on federal death row. After last-minute delays and legal hand-wringing... And then in July 2020, the Prison Bureau started killing people again. The United States government held its first execution in 17 years this morning at the Federal Penitentiary in Terre Haute, Indiana. And fast. For the second time in 48 hours, the Supreme Court paved the way... With three executions during the same week, the administration started executing faster than any in modern history. The eighth... It's ninth... The tenth federal execution... Carried out by the federal government. As states like Texas and Florida canceled executions and shut down death chambers to prevent the spread of COVID-19, the feds cranked theirs up. By the time it was all over, the U.S. government had executed more people under a single presidential administration in a century. We're joined now by podcast host George Hale, who witnessed several of the federal executions reporting for WFIU. George, thanks for being here. I know it's a long time in the making this podcast. Why do it? Why do it? Well, um, because uh, these executions are the only executions that are carried out by the federal government. So whenever the U.S. wants to uh, execute one of its own citizens, I think it's you know, super important for us to be aware of that process and how it goes. Yeah. Also, just, just being an hour or two from the Bloomington area as well, um, executions have stopped under the Biden administration, but he hasn't banned them like he campaigned. Mm -hmm, yeah. What do you know about that? Yeah, it's interesting. So Biden was the actual author of some of the, the laws that were, were used to prosecute people that were later executed at this. Uh, so he's uh, got a real intimate involvement in the actual executions themselves. Now he's against uh, the death penalty. And so people expected him to perhaps pursue legislation to abolish it or commute the sentences of people on death row. But he hasn't followed through on either of those. Mm -hmm. So the rash of executions included Lisa Montgomery, the first woman killed uh, under the federal death penalty since 1953, and that was part of a, even a, a mini documentary that you were part of. Yeah, highly unusual. I mean, there are not that many women um, on death row anywhere in America. It's mostly a young men issue, but um, uh, her case is really unusual and um, really sad. You know, it was, she was a, a severely mentally ill and a victim of uh, domestic violence, and she committed a really serious crime, but um, there was a lot of uh, hope from her family and other people that um, they might, you know, just commute her sentence to life just based on her life experiences. Yeah. So you and former WTIU reporter Adam Pinsker mm -hmm. both contracted COVID during this as well. Right. So, yeah, the podcast focuses on the, the rush to execute people and the things that can go wrong when that happens. Um, and the uh, COVID outbreak in the prisons is part of that. Um, most death chambers shut down during COVID, but uh, the federal government decided to keep theirs open. So one episode has dropped already, and you can find that on the WFIU News website. Mm -hmm. uh, what, can you give us a little bit of a rundown of what's coming up next? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, so it's basically the results of our two-year-long investigation into the federal death penalty. And so um, we're going to focus on uh, botched executions, execution drugs and methods that um, uh, are prohibited elsewhere, but the federal government uses. Um, racist prosecutions, uh, mental incompetency, you know, all kinds of um, basically looking at the, the federal death penalty from every side. All right, George, thanks so much for uh, your time and uh, looking forward to this uh, podcast coming up these next few weeks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.